Uh, yeah, you were described on the FA website as a proud Sheffield native. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, could you just tell us a bit about um, growing up in Sheffield? Whereabouts are you from and how did you get into football? That kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, definitely. Um, I am proud of, to come from Sheffield for sure. Um, I think that accent's the one that's noticed the most, the strong Yorkshire accent that I don't, hope I never lose. Um, but yeah, just growing up, um, I grew up in a place called Baton. Um, so from that end of Sheffield, um, to be fair, I've moved about a bit in Sheffield. Now my family live in Penniston, so I've explored a bit. Um, but growing up like through school and playing boys football, especially growing up, I played for Beta Magpies. Um, I'm a big Chef United fan. Um, had a season ticket since I could walk. My dad dragged me to the game, so that was kind of ingrained in me um, from a young age. And yeah, the, all my family still live in Sheffield, so I've obviously still got my roots there and I go back as much as I can. Fantastic. Um, so, did you when you were growing up? Um, did you play? Did you play for boys teams or girls teams? Or yeah, I initially started for boys team. Um, so I played um, for Beta Magpies from the age of like six to probably around eleven, twelve, um, and then I signed for Chef United Center, Girls Centre of Excellence, which I stayed till till I was fifteen, and then then from then on I signed for signed for City. Wow. So what, what what was that like being uh, being signed by a top club? At such a yeah, it was age? it was pretty surreal actually. Um, it came about pretty much out of the blue, um, but the minute I walked in and and saw the facilities and saw what was on offer, I was I was sold straight away. Um, it's incredible, and obviously I've been there ever since. Now I'm going into my seventh season and still loving it like my first. So yeah, it's great. Fantastic. So, so um, did you play at school much? Yeah, I played with the boys all the time. Um, yeah. That was kind of how I got into it. Um, a lot of my school friends were pretty male dominant just because of football and my love of football. Yeah. They were great actually growing up. And a lot of them that I played with at school actually played for the boys team, the Sunday league team I played for. So that was great. Um, obviously rocking up on a Sunday playing another boys team, you're always getting funny looks about the girl in that, but they were great and I absolutely loved every minute of it. Brilliant. So that, that was up to about the age of 12, was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great. So do, do people make fun of your Sheffield accent then in Manchester? Yeah, I get, get um, certain words. But apparently now when I go back to Sheffield, I've got a bit of a Manchester twang, which is worrying. <laughs> um, but I think when I'm around my parents and then I go back to the girls, they're like, yep, we can tell you've been home on the day off. <laughs> my accent gets a little bit stronger. <laughs> So how did you get into um, being a goalkeeper? And um, I'm, I'm including one or two questions that my football group has, has asked me to ask, by the way. This is one no of them. Uh, how did you become a goalkeeper and what do you love most about it? How did I become a goalkeeper? I don't actually think there was a specific point. I just think there must have just been one day at school when I volunteered to go in and just really took to it and enjoyed it. Um, it's a bit of a crazy position. Sometimes I look back now and think, why did I choose that? I should have been a striker. Um, but I love it. I love the ups and downs of it. And I love the fact that very few people understand the role of it. Um, I think it's potentially, it's such an individual position um, and hopefully an individual speciality that nobody else in the team can bring. Um, I think... There's ups and downs of it for sure. Psychologically, it's probably one of the most challenging positions on the pitch because it's kind of isolating sometimes. But I just love being able to make a difference for the team. And hopefully by me making a save and keeping the ball out of the net, it makes it a lot easier for us to win the game because we only have to score then. So it's yeah. it's an interesting position. It's one that's very different, I would say. Yeah. Um, how do you communicate with your defence? Do you scream at them like Jordan Pickford? I've been asked to ask. <laughs> um, I don't scream at them. No, I'm quite a I'm quite a relaxed character, quite chilled. Um, I re I if I need to, then for sure I'll I've got it in my locker to to go a bit crazy. But the majority of the time they're doing their jobs pretty well, so my makes my life a lot easier. But just basic information, the more I can help, especially when. 
in the later stage of the game when maybe the girls are tired, then the better for the team, really. Yeah. Um, who were your um, role models when you were growing up? Um, growing up, obviously, I was a, a huge Chef United fan. And at the time, Paddy Kenny was the goalkeeper. So growing up, I absolutely idolised him um, just because that was who I always went to go and watch. Um, on a bit more of a global st scale, I would say Buffon was the goalkeeper that I always watched on YouTube. Yeah, um, yeah so I think I'd go with those two. Yeah. Lisa, did, just, just do one more question, uh, if that's okay. Yep, that's fine. Yep. Um, did you have any um, any female role models when you, when you were growing up? Yeah, um, two actually. Obviously, Rachel Brown Finnis was the one that was England's number one for years growing up. But I think because of the, the lack of coverage female sport or the, tel the televised games female sport back then, I didn't really get to see her as much as I would have loved to. Um, but then obviously going into City at such a young age and being able to work with Karen Bardsley was, was unbelievable. And she's someone that has really helped me develop in my career um, to date. So growing up, being able to watch her and then actually becoming a teammate was pretty special.